Well, hello and welcome again to our reading of Odyssey Book 2, and I'm up to line 337. So, at this stage, we've seen in the previous bit some little made-up vignettes about what the suit, various suitors might have said in response to Telemachus wishing to go off to Sandy Pylos and to Sparta. And they've accused him of planning all sorts of evil things. And it continues on Hosphan, Hot Dup Sorophon, Dalamon, Katebe, Sete Patros, Urun, Hothinetos, Krusos, Kai, Kalkos, Eketo, Estes, Ten, Keloisi, Halis, Tuodes, Alion. En de pithoi oi noio palaiu he du patoio hestesan aqueton theon poton entos econtes hexies poti toicon ere rotes e pot odysseus oi codi uh, sorry oi cadi noste se kai algia pola megesas. So thus they said, thus they spoke. So this is the plural. We normally get farsi or fanti or something, but you get this apocopated for. It is a third person plural. So thus they said, thus they spoke. But he, this is Telemachus now. Uh, now the main verb is katabaseto, from katabino. Uh, this is just the aorist um, middle here. So he descended, he went down to the high roofed this is from hoopsos high and orifice is the word for a roof so the high roofed thalamon well it's the um, chamber perhaps bed chamber patros of his father and it was a, a broad room a wide room hothinertos krusos where now nertos is connected with a, ver with a verb neo which is to heap up or to pile things up and so that's the root the net here and these adjectives in tos are generally passive adjectives so piled so neo to heap up or pile up so nertos piled up the meaning is very clear but the word actually only occurs here apparently so where there was piled up Crusos gold and where piled up uh, gold and bronze lay and estes and clothing connected with henumi I think as well the putting clothes on so estes uh, another word for clothing and it was in keloisin it's a fairly rare word um, kelos is a large chest so they were in large chests and there was um, halas sufficient of them, so there was quite a bit, so in abundance perhaps, is that's is adverb here, uh, and uodes, sweet smelling, from osdo is the root here, and the good, so good smelling, so no, nice smelling, uh, elion, olive oil. So he went down into this uh, broad, high-roofed chamber of his father, where there was there lay heaped up, piled up gold and bronze and clothing, in um, large chests in abundance and sweet-smelling oil. End pithoi, oi noiop halaioi. Oh, the main verb is here. Hestasen. Uh, so pithoi, these are these large um, containers, these pithoi, large, huge, large jars, uh, these pithoi. So jar, these jars of wine, which is old and hairdo potoi on, um, and sweet, stood within. So the ender is adverbial here. So inside of this thalamon. So with, within the room stood these jars of ancient wine, hedopotoi of sweet smelling. Arqueton, 
Uh, so these jars, air contests, well, having, but perhaps containing entos within, and uh, akreton, pure, so unmixed drink, which was theon divine. So it's something like containing within a uh, divine unmixed drink. Hexiase potitoricon, and they would uh, each in turn, hexiase, it's an adverb here, e each one in turn was um, a rare rotes, this is a participle from Arorisco, so fitted against the wall, potitoikon. You get takos or toikos in later Greek for the wall, so they're fitted against the wall. Uh, a, probably in the sense of a pot, in the case when Odysseus might ever uh, nostesee, return oikidi to home. Uh, it's chi, almost for chi pair here, sort of although, having laboured uh, many griefs, having suffered, experienced many griefs. We get a continuation now of the description of this. So, Kleistai Depesan Sanides, Pulkinos Arahuiai Declides, Endegune Tamie Nuktas Tekai Ema Esk, Hepant Efula Sino Polu Idre San, Herakle O Postugate. Pace a Norideo, ten poti telemachus prosephe thalamondi calesas. And um, now the these sanities were doors. The clay style means that it's connected with clay, a key, so these are lockable. Uh, so it's a bit like the wine cabinet in earlier times, which you kept locked to keep the servants away from it. Uh, so the lockable doors, ep esan, ep amy, something like perhaps were attached. So lockable doors were attached and uh, strongly fitted. This is this participle again. This is a feminine noun and this is the feminine plural participle here um, from Ararisco to fit. So it's something like lockable doors were attached, strongly fitted. Diclides, um, double doors. And en de gune, uh, and within, within, this is again adverbial, within the room, the a woman who was a tamie. Now you get tamias here as the, the male steward. So this is a female version of this, tamie. Uh, so perhaps servant. So the female, there was within a female servant. Now the esk is iterative form of Amy. It's esk with a kappa. And it gets aspirated before the hay here. So it's esk with a kappa. It's iterative form of Amy. So um, the, the woman who was the servant was frequently within Nuktas Tekai Emma by day and night who kept guard on all things by the clever, uh, cleverness. This is polu plus id, this idre of knowing. So, um, um, so by the cleverness of her noose, of her mind. And she is Eurycleia, a very important person in the story later on, of course. Uh, and she was the daughter of Ops, the, who was himself the son of Pacenor. This is the usual patronymic. So just to put that bit together then, um, we've got this, uh, these uh, lockable doors were fitted inside and they were strongly fitted uh, and they were uh, declared as they were double doors and the um, the woman who was the servant was frequently, to get the escape, ender within by day and night. 
She who kept guard on everything by the cleverness of her mind. Euryclea, the daughter of Opes, son of Pisenor. Uh, Tain Poti Telemachus, and whom at that time Telemachus addressed Calesas, having called her Thalamondi, from Thalamon, that old uh, ending debt, to the the Thalamon to the room. So he having called her to the room, he then addressed her. And his reply, she is a, a very important servant in the house, and so he calls her Maya, which is sort of, it's not quite mother, but um, uh, nurse really. So she's, th this is a word often used for the, to refer to a nurse or to address a nurse. So Maya, Agede my oinon en amphiphorusi amphuson hedun hotis meta ton la rototos on su fulases. Kenon oi omene ton camaron a e pothin elthoi diogenes odysseus thanaton kaikeras aluxas. Do deca dem pleson kai poma sin ason hapantes. Ende moi alfit of huon eo rafee sin doroisi. E cosi desto metra mul e fatu al fitu actes. Aute doye isti. Ta dathro apanta te tukso. So just to pause there. So, um, nurse, or it's almost sort of like, well, it's not quite mother, it's, it is a word for my, my dear nurse, my dear old nurse, or something here. Uh, come, afusen uh, is from, um, afuso is to draw off wine. So it's a word meaning to, to draw off the wine. So draw off wine for me in the amphorae, in, in these wine jars, um, and the sweet wine, hard hedun. Um, so which is the um, laprototos, which is the nicest, um, after this one which you are guarding? So he doesn't want the very best wine, but he wants the, the second best, I think was the sense of it. The wine which is the nicest after the one which you are keeping guard on. Now, rototos is a fairly rare word, and it doesn't follow the usual rules of these, um, the Attic rules for superlatives, because the alpha here is long. So therefore you'd expect an ototos, but you get ototos. Well, these rules of Attic grammar don't always apply in Homer. Canon do ominon ton cameron. She was thinking of him, that's Odysseus, ton cameron. The cam is kata, and then moros. The moros is, uh, so, it, the word simply means ill-fated, uh, but it was originally, I think, a kata, and then the alpha elides, and then the tor becomes a mu for the sake of euphony here. So thinking upon him, the ill-fated one, a uh, pothen, so if uh, Odysseus, Diogenes, well, either born of Zeus or descended from Zeus, or perhaps just uh, godlike. Uh, if godlike Odysseus um, might come, Pothen, from somewhere, Aluxas from uh, Aluso, having avoided uh, death and Keras and his fate, or the fates, perhaps it's plural here. Keras, I said, is a funny word. It can mean the fates or fate. It can also mean death, but we've already got Thanaton here, so. So having avoided death and his fate. Um, Dodeca, Empleson. 
So uh, fit, so a feel, I should say. This is from M. Pim play me. Pim play me is the verb, and the it's a lead duplication, the pit at the beginning, and uh, so pim play me. This is this is M. Pim play me. It's from it means to fill up. Pim play me is a verb meaning to fill. It's a lead duplicator present, and this is the aorist imperative here. So fill up twelve of these and arson is an imperative formed from arisco. It just takes the root arrow from arisco and adds the aorist imperative on there. So uh, fit them all pomasin with um, well it's something like lids. Yeah so fit them all with lids. Endemoi al fitter and pour in Alfita, well, these are um, groats, barley groats for me. Uh, yeah, so, yes, yeah, so uh, pour for me, so pour in for me, barley groats, uh, pour them into the U Raphaesin. This raf is from rapto to stitch, so into well stitched Doroisin. These Doros is a leather bag. It's connected with Dayro to flay or to skin something, and hence the a Doros is a, a leather bag. So pour then uh, for me barley groats uh, in the well stitched bags. E cosi 20, let, let there be 20 measures, and then we get these three words here um, of. Um, well, we get alfi 2, which is this um, meal, this is the barley groats, uh, of milled, uh, you can see the mill root here. The actes is an adjective here. It's con The ak is connected with the ag in agnumi to break up. So it's, li it's literally mill crushed uh, groats broken into pieces so broken into flakes we might just say um, let there be 20 measures of meal of milled groats consisting of milled groats and now is the is an imperative let you alone that you yourself alone is the know this in other words don't tell anyone about it to up and Tetukso is a perfect imperative, and it's a third person singular. We've got a neuter plural subject, and hence singular verb, but it's a perfect imperative from Tuco. Athros means all together. So let them be made, let them all be put together, uh, sorry, let them all be made ready together. So he wants all these instructions done, and now he's going to explain why he wants all this. And he says, um, uh, "Hesperios ga egon heresimai hopoti kende mete es huperoi anabe koitu te medetai." Amiga es spaten te kai es pulon amethoenta noston pusominos patros filu ein ku pul akuso. So for I heresimai, this is just a future from high reo, I will take them up uh, hesperios in the evening. In other words, I'll come and get them in the evening. Hopoti, whenever in fact my mother, Anabe from Anabino, goes up into the Hooper Roy. This is a, uh, the, there's an alpha elided here, into the upper rooms. The women generally slept in the rooms up the top, probably to keep them safe. So whenever my mother might go into the upper rooms and medetai, these are subjunctives of course after hopoti and ken, 
and she might think of a koitu, well, bed, So, and she thinks about going to sleep or she thinks about bed. Amy ga es Spartan, for I will go into Sparta and into Sandy, Sandy Pylos, Pusominos, from Punthanomai, future participle here, with the intention of inquiring or finding out about the return of my dear father, Apu, if perchance a kuso, I might here understand something. So in the case that I might hear, so if I might perchance hear something. And that's the next little section of book two.